Hey everyone, well this was a very requested video and as you can see you're looking at my behind the door storage for travel backups and I'll move you closer here in a second and take a look. Just for reference, we are in one of my guest bedrooms. So I can swing around here real quick. This is our closet in this bedroom where I keep all my luggage and travel uh, bags and things like that. Let me know if you would like to see what's in there. So looking up at this top row here, I kind of divided it by type a little bit. And this is basically just so I can walk in this room and pack my toiletry bag, which by the way, I will link that video below in the playlist of all my travel bags. That's where uh, I had mentioned this behind the door storage if you're not familiar in that recent what's my toiletry bag video. So. Basically, you're looking at kind of type. So we all go to the dentist and twice a year, typically, if not more, and you get all of these extra toothpaste. Now, I have to say, most of the time, my husband and I bring our big size regular toothpaste and we just pack it because we're not carrying on. If we were just carrying on, the spare toothpaste and floss would be great. Um, some mouthwash, I just have these two different sizes and most of the time we just fill them up, usually smaller ones. I'm not really sure why I still keep that big one. Uh, some wisps and then next to it, and I'm sorry there's a little bit of glare because there is plastic and I had to bring a br big light in here to even be able to see this. That is um, in the plastic bag over here, that is um, Dove soap and then my Drunk Elephant soap, so face soap. So going down, I have some little mini deodorants on the far right there and a backup um, shave cartridge. This is what I typically take is the Venus and Olay because I had mentioned that previous video again. It already has the Olay bars on it, so that way I don't have to worry about taking shaving cream. And if for some reason I did want something extra to shave my legs with, I'd just use hair conditioner because that works really well too. So anyway, that's what that is. I did mention in that other video too that I usually just bring a full-size deodorant now um, with me and I explained why in that previous video, but I do have a couple of travel backups. And then next you're looking at some backup lotions and some aloe. I use different kind of lotions depending on, you know, what I'm in the mood for. Again, I'd mentioned in that previous video, if you're looking at all of these different types, I had gotten them on the clearance because they discontinued that brand and I really like it. So over here on the end, the left side, you are looking at face wash. And I have a lot of my Origins checks and balances as you can see. And then I do have two cream cleansers. Uh, behind that is the Colleen Ross Child, um, which is absolutely awesome. It's a small size that comes with her discovery kit. And then this is something new I got in a point perk, is the Clinique Take the Day Off. I have not tried that one yet. Okay, so moving down, and the next one is hair items. Um, and this first one here would be I believe shampoo and then the next one is conditioner. They're not all matching, but usually I have about equal amounts of both. I like different varying size bottles as well. And it's sometimes I will actually just use a bottle um, continuously and fill it up with something different, maybe stick a label on it if it is something different. So that's what that is. And then next we have um, nail polish remover pads. I like all different brands, um, but they are great for travel and they actually do a really, really good job. And then in the far right is basically everything kind of, um, I don't know, hairstyling, I guess you would say, like leave-in treatments. I do have a couple of dry shampoos in there. Several of these, um, Alterna, the 10-in-1 CC cream. I love these for travel. Again, another Alterna product that I got, you know, in a sample size and a few of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. Again, these are great for travel. A lot of time you can find these as point perks at Sephora. So moving down to the next row, um, on this far left here, these are a little bit miscellaneous. There's a lot of uh, Origins um, Vitazing. I couldn't think of the name. I don't use it. I probably should include those in some giveaways, but they come with a lot of packs that I get from Origins because I do like their skincare. Um, there is a makeup setting spray, and then this big orange one here is the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. So those are kind of like a little bitty sample CC cream that's in there, um, and then just some moisturizers. And then next we have hairspray. So I have a few things in there and I also then have the Bumble and Bumble um, thickening spray. It gives me some texture, but I usually have, you know, several hairsprays there. 
to choose from. Next would be some masks. So basically, again, I have a lot of things from Origins because either point perks or they come as extras when you order something from Origins. And I do use a lot of Origins skincare, as I've mentioned. So these are some Sephora eye and face mask. And again, just some different masks. And over here to the far right, these are eye makeup removers. So you can't see, but in the back is a simple, uh, brand eye makeup remover. Of course, we have the Lancome. We have one from Clinique, Bioderma, and the Garnier. Okay, let's go down to the next aisle here, all the way over on the left. This is some miscellaneous. I have a brush cleaner. I have an extra um, potpourri room spray, some Evian water, some really big push pins that my husband and I bought one time at Target when we were away on vacation. And I can't remember what, and let me show them to you real quick. So when I say big push pins, I'm not kidding. Um, we got these because there was something we needed to pin up like I don't think it was a curtain, but it was something like some kind of crazy light even on a smoke detector or something. And we didn't have tape or whatever. We bought this to kind of do a makeshift, cover something up, I remember. I'm very light sensitive, so anything in a hotel kind of drives me crazy. So next to that you can see is some room sprays, hand sanitizer, I think there's an extra bug spray there, uh, Febreze room spray, things like that. And then shifting over to the next, I just have a sample I got in the mail of Bonine. That is the sea sickness, motion sickness medicine of choice for me. I like it because it doesn't make me drowsy. I don't often have to take it um, on vacation or on a cruise, but I do like to have it because sometimes I will get a little bit of a headache because I often have sinus and inner ear issues, which then affects, um, you know, maybe feeling slightly seasick or motion sickness. So next we have um, just a couple of, we have an older one and a newer one to weigh our luggage. See the older one in the background. It's kind of big and cumbersome. We could probably get rid of that one. And then this is the new one. I believe we got it at Target. I'm not sure. I'll try to link one for you. This one we take with us. So it's so nice to weigh your bag. Um, you know, it tells you how much it is. So there's no surprises going to the airport because I try to only take one bag. But then of course, you know, sometimes you're teetering on the 50 pound limit. So anyway, this is nice and slim and that's where it lives. So the last two bins are larger. So basically any bulky items, what I have a lot of, that's what's there. So what you're looking at here is spare toothbrushes. Like I said before, you go to the dentist twice a year. They always give you toothpaste, floss, a toothbrush. Those toothbrushes add up. Even though we do put a few in our other guest bedroom um, and bathrooms, I should say, for guests, um, there's not many times that we use this. We both use an electric toothbrush, so these kind of pile up. Um, I do use them for other things, you know, around the house, like cleaning uh, my wedding set or whatever. And then what you're looking at up top here, these I had shown in that video, you can get them in a two pack. Um, usually, sorry, it's not in focus very well because it's focusing back there. Uh, usually like at the drugstore or Walmart. These you just put over your toothbrush and that way um, it's not getting all gross and it actually has an antimicrobial in it. It kind of smells like Listerine, honestly, is what I think it probably is. And then over here is makeup wipes. So I use the Kirkland makeup wipes and what I love is I think in the pack that you get from Costco, there's usually, I think, a couple packs of travel size wipes, which are awesome. So all of those live there and then that way, you know, whenever I need some for travel, Travel, I just come in here and get them. Now, as far as the actual over the door hanger, I'm not sure where I got this, but you can see along here, you cannot shut the door. So you want to have this in a room where you're not gonna shut the door. Again, this is in one of our front guest bedrooms and we leave the door open. Now, if someone was staying in here, obviously I would take this off and that's why it's in this bedroom because most people choose to stay in a different guest bedroom we have. So that's what this is, but I'll try to link one similar. So just wanted to show you what everything is. And at one point I did have everything labeled, but because of its uh, nature of the material, it doesn't stick very well to it. These would be great also to use um, for nail polish storage. I know a lot of people use these to bring on cruises, but honestly, I have never understood that idea. I mean, I don't have that much junk that is laying around that I need to put in one of these. I don't know, but anyway, I just wanted to show you this because a lot of you were very interested and I hope it gives you some inspiration um, to maybe help get yourself organized for your travel items. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.